Welcome back to the David67 Celtic News YouTube channel. Today, Friday the 8th of September. Um, today, going to have a brief rundown of a few news stories associated with Celtic over the last 24 hours. Um, also, a player potentially Celtic may look at. Um, as an upgrade at left back, who would be available uh, now and looks considerably better than Ryan Bertrand. Also, a quick reminder regarding the important game the Celtic women's team have uh, on Saturday evening. Before we get going with the main part of the video, uh, please like and subscribe. Let's try and boost those subscriber numbers and viewing figure numbers up and up. And also we'll pop our um, little quiz question into the community section, uh, which quite a few people are finding uh, challenging and popular. So good news for our South Korean wide player Yang made his international debut uh, last night against Wales, coming on for the last five minutes or so. And um, as was mentioned in yesterday's video, um, Jürgen Klinsmann, the South Korean manager, thinks that Yang is a um, potential superstar of the future. Certainly the brief time he's had at Celtic, he has looked impressive, has settled down quite well um, and has primarily been coming off the bench and did have quite a lot of good touches Ooh, excuse me <coughs> quite a lot of good touches um, um, when he came on against Rangers last Sunday um, I do hope he goes from strength to strength at Celtic and um, our other South Korean uh, player, Oh, was left on the bench. Um, but uh, there, there is a further uh, game for South Korea during this international break. Um, our new left-sided wide player and inside forward, Luis Palma, who we signed from uh, Greece, Greek football, is currently with the Honduran squad. He had fallen out with the previous international coach, but since the uh, new appointment in August, he is back in the Honduran international squad and um, has games uh, tomorrow against Jamaica and uh, then on Wednesday against Grenada. In the CONCACAF uh, Nations League, which is against other Central American uh, teams and the Caribbean teams. Hopefully he gets through those two games injury fee free and then come back and can, can come back to Celtic for a few days training prior to his expected debut against Dundee the following uh, weekend. Some sad news, however, for our ex-player Jota. Um, his situation at Al Etihad in Saudi League football has got more complicated with the signing of a ninth foreign uh, player, which means that Al Etihad have one more uh, foreign player than is permitted under Saudi League rules and it would appear that Jota is now in uh, the wilderness effectively and is no longer part of the Al Etihad um, squad for this season um, and so will it would, uh, appear just be training with the team um, and will not be playing any further football um, between now and the winter transfer window. Um, the Saudi um, league transfer window is shut as of uh, Thursday um, and so um, it would appear 
uh, any option of transfer or loans is now gone. And so the only real prospect that Jota has for playing football over the next few months is if Al Etihad decide to release him as a free agent, which would open up uh, potential transfer back to um, to Europe. He is uh, said to be on £190,000 a week and um, legally Al Etihad would have to on, honour that contract even though he's not playing unless there are any clauses in his contract regarding playing time. It is sad, however, um, for Jota as he was such a good player for Celtic for those two years and it's very sad that his skills are not going to be used um, and that he may well become quite frustrated at uh, having no playing time until the winter transfer window. I would guess um, in the winter transfer window um, Al Etihad will make strong efforts to uh, loan him out. Um, it would appear they prefer for that to be within the Saudi league, although a loan back to Celtic would be uh, very beneficial to Celtic if it could go through. Also, brief reminder that uh, the women's team are in uh, their second Champions League qualifier match, which will be on Saturday evening, and it will be live on Celtic TV. The game is against Valorenga, who are uh, currently top of the Norwegian Women's League, uh, who having come second last year. Um, the uh, final playoff is at Valerenga's home ground in Oslo, which gives them a slight advantage. Although going through Valerenga women's um, recent games, they do appear to have suffered quite a dip in form, having lost uh, the prior two matches before they beat Dinamo Minsk in the first playoff on Wednesday and have been dropping points quite consistently uh, in the Norwegian Women's League. And so um, this contrast obviously with Celtic women's team who've won six out of six and have uh, been beating all the teams in Scotland by large amounts and uh, are going to go into the game on Saturday with full choice of squad. Uh, apart from Munoz, their Argentinian defender who was injured in pre-season and has just had anterior cruciate uh, ligament uh, surgery on her knee and so will be out for probably another uh, six to nine months at the very least. But hopefully she makes a full recovery from that and can then um, play again next year. Obviously, uh, we all wish the Celtic women's team all the luck in the world for the game on Saturday, um, which also will be covered um, by text uh, on the BBC Sports side as well as being live on Celtic TV. If they win the game on Saturday, that then puts them into two-legged playoff, and the winner of that two-legged playoff then goes into the Champions League group stages, uh, along with all the more powerful preceded teams. Final piece of news um, for today, um, Celtic have been looking to upgrade the left back position. Um, we were unable to sign anybody in the transfer window. Um, uh, the rumours regarding Brendan Rodgers being keen to bring Ryan Bertrand to the, to the team resurfaced at the end of the transfer window. Um, and I think um, that would be a very poor move. And I have yet to see anybody on any Celtic site or any actual footballing opinion site stating that 
Bertrand is a, an option for anybody at left back, given his um, rather uh, poor injury record and has hardly played in the last three years for Leicester. However, uh, looking at available free agent uh, left backs, um, the highest rated uh, currently by the transfer market website is Suleiman Duwambi, uh, who is a French national who is actually on Ivory Coast International, having played eight times for the Ivory Coast, scoring one goal. He's 26. He started off um, with Paris Saint-Germain and worked his up, way up through the Paris Saint-Germain um, youth teams and academy teams up to uh, the first team, whoever then was uh, has been loaned out and transferred to a couple of teams in Italy, which are Bari and has also been transferred and loaned to Grasshoppers and Stad Rain. He uh, finished off his career uh, up to now at Angers in the French League 1. Uh, Angers were relegated to the second uh, tier in France and uh, Duambe was uh, released by them in the summer in July. He would be available as a free agent and so Celtic could sign him outside the transfer window and as I said earlier he is a French, a French national which makes things such as permits and visas etc a lot more simple even though he is an Ivory Coast international. Um, he um, was one of Angers' um, best players last season, um, although Angers themselves had a rather poor season, which ended up with them being relegated, but he was one of their best players during that time. And he comes with a very good reputation. And uh, Looking at um, scouting reel from a couple of years ago, he uh, is a very pacey player, um, very quick, um, over a short distance which makes him very good at intercepting and tackling. He is strong in the tackle, um, has good tackling te technique also um, and is also able to break forward um, which allows him um, often to get uh, deep into the opposition final third um, passing or crossing into the box, um, is comfortable with the ball at his feet, has um, ability with long passing also, um, six foot tall, which also means he has uh, more aerial ability than many left backs, and overall um, would appear to have quite a number of the skills that would fit well into Brendan Rodgers um, a pattern of how he wants left backs to play um, seems to be a very uh, good basic defender um, also has the ability to break into midfield and into the final third and so um, may well be worth Celtic having a look at and certainly at 26 uh, coming into the best years of his career and would certainly be able to give Celtic four or five years of good service um, and would see him as being an upgrade on uh, Craig Taylor and Burnaby uh, given the difference in the way that Roger sees the role of a left back as opposed to how Ange Postacoglu saw it. There have been some rumblings of interest um, previously um, from several English Premier League sides such as Brighton and also several English Championship sides such as Birmingham. Um, and so he is a player that has had 
um, quite a lot of previous scouting by uh, top teams um, in France, Italy and uh, in England. I will pop a link in for his uh, scouting video and there are also a few other um, highlight reels and uh, videos of him scoring for, for his various teams uh, available via YouTube also. So thanks for listening today. Um, do have a wee look at the um, Suleiman Duambi um, highlight reel in via the link or via YouTube. Do have a wee go at the um, question in the community section and um, let's wish um, the uh, women's team all the luck in the world on Saturday. So um, for today, goodbye and hail, hail.